everyone and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. In this video I'm going to be going through animal and plant cells, the different organelles and what their functions are. If you are new here then click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest GCSE videos. So first of all we've got here our two examples of eukaryotic cells for GCSE. We have a plant cell and an animal cell. And if you haven't already seen my video on eukaryotic cells compared to prokaryotic cells, I'll link it up here so you can go and take a look. So some of the key structures inside a eukaryotic cell are, they have cytoplasm, they have a cell membrane, and they have genetic material that is within a nucleus rather than loose in the cytoplasm. Now we're gonna go into more detail on the different structures and what their functions are though, in the animal cells and the plant cells. So let's start with an animal cell. So we said they have cytoplasm, cell membrane, but they also have mitochondria. They have a nucleus, which we said contains the genetic information, and they have ribosomes. And we're gonna go through the function of these a little bit later in the video. Now, if we compare this to a plant cell, they do have lots of structures in common. So they also have cytoplasm, they have a cell membrane, they have mitochondria. Now notice here I've called it mitochondrion, that's because it's only pointing to one, and the singular is mitochondrion, the plural is mitochondria. They have a cell wall, they have a permanent vacuole which is filled with sap, a liquid. They have chloroplasts, a nucleus which contains the genetic information and ribosomes. Now out of all of those structures inside of a plant cell, it's actually only these three which you only find in a plant cell. And that is quite a common question for this topic at GCSC, is either being able to label the structures in an animal or a plant cell, um, or it could be suggesting structures that you find in a plant cell that you do not find in an animal cell and these would be your three potential marks for that question so we focus on now what the actual functions are of these different structures so we talked about cytoplasm and this is a liquid gel so it's quite a thick liquid and this is what the organelles are suspended in and what we mean by organelle is the different structures you find within the cell so these structures or organelles are floating in this thick liquid. It's also where most chemical reactions take place. The cell membrane, this is the layer surrounding the cells that you have in both an animal cell and a plant cell. And that layer controls what can enter and exit the cell. So that's what we mean by it's controlling the passage of substances. The nucleus, so this is where you find the genetic material, and it controls the activities of the cell as well as containing the genetic material. The mitochondria, this is where aerobic respiration occurs, and that means that most of the energy from a cell is released from the mitochondria. Ribosomes, this is where protein synthesis occurs, so that is where all the proteins for the cell are made. Chloroplasts, which you only find in plants, the reason they're green is because they contain a pigment, which is a protein which has a colour. They contain this pigment called chlorophyll. And chlorophyll absorbs the energy from light, and that energy is used in photosynthesis. So chloroplasts function is for photosynthesis, which is how plants make their food. The cell wall, which you only find in the plant cells, not the animal cells, contains a molecule called cellulose. And that molecule makes the cell wall really, really strong. So it gives the cell support. And it's that cellulose cell wall, which is really strong, which stops the plant cells from bursting if they do swell up with lots of water. The permanent vacuole. So this is filled with cell sap, so that is a liquid. And that liquid, again, it helps to support the cell and make it really rigid. So you have that liquid in the centre pushing outwards to make the cell really rigid. 
So that is it for animal and plant cells. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up.